Melanie West with Stephen Rigby's younger sister. I was always jealous of Stephen's personality. He was able to walk into any room and make friends with anybody. He had this absolutely contagious laugh. But West says that in the months leading to his death, her brother complained he wasn't getting proper treatment for his mental illness, even after one suicide attempt. That night would have never came to be because his broken spirit may have been mended. Rigby was an alcoholic who suffered from depression and anxiety. Three days before the shooting, a doctor committed Rigby against his will to a mental health facility. Staff there noted he had talked about provoking police to shoot him. The next day, a psychiatrist discharged Rigby. They said, we have people uh, that have no family that actually are worse off than you, that need this bed. Are you willing to give the, your bed up? And Stephen told me, Mom, what was I supposed to say? 48 hours later, Rigby was dead. Police said Rigby fired a gun and that officers who felt threatened fired their weapons. But who shot who and whether Rigby shot himself has remained unclear until now. He loved Over the weekend, Rigby's mother had a chance to watch a video of the shooting. She says Rigby never pointed the gun at officers. To me, the gun is vertically in the air. It's not pointing at anyone. Um, so that just, that demonstrates to me and that, you know, I don't, I don't know why the shots were fired. I don't know where the threat was at that particular moment. Um, that's why I really want them there to describe it to me. The inquest heard Monday from a close friend of Rigby's. She says Rigby was quickly released from the hospital following one suicide attempt. She says he didn't get the care he needed. Over the next week, the inquest will hear from the officers who shot Rigby and the doctors who treated him. Guy Kemville, CBC News, Saskatoon.